Hi. Um, so I just got my new Verizon Wireless uh, Thunderbolt, and I've activated the SIM card in it. I've got the phone up and running. I'm going to turn it on, and we're going to actually go through the uh, activation process, kind of the just the uh, setup process for it. So when I turn it on, I have my my 3G up top here. I'm not in a 4G area. I'm going to pull it down, pull it down, and here's my uh, screen here. I, I've already chosen English. That's one step that I've already done. So um, it asked me for my PIN number for backup assistant. I downloaded it on my old phone. So let me go ahead and do it on this phone. With with these phones, um, you can see it's asking for the, the PIN number up here. It says, please enter your four to eight digit PIN. Whenever you see a box, this doesn't have a keyboard. So you just touch in the box where you want to type and it brings up the keyboard. So I'm going to enter my pin and hit next. And it says it's processing. Takes a bit. Have a couple of contacts in there. So this is an awesome phone so far. It feels very well built. Really liking the size of it. I had a Droid X originally and an Incredible. I was very happy with both of them. All right. Should be about done. All right. So it asked me if I want to set up my Google account. It says at the bottom, it says set up now. Uh, yes, I do want to do that. I already have an account, so it says sign in or create. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And this is where I enter my Gmail information. It kind of has that green box right there that says touch any text box to start typing. So it kind of has a walkthrough while you're doing it. I'm going to go ahead and enter my Gmail information. Um, with these phones also, it's got an accelerometer on it. So this way or this way, you have different keyboards. All right. So whatever is easiest for you. And then I'm going to enter my password, which I'm not going to share, <laughs> fortunately. All right. If I can remember it. Okay, so I have a keyboard now. My next is underneath where the keyboard is. There's an arrow down here at the bottom. If I hit this, that'll actually drop the keyboard. See? So I'm going to sign in. And it's communicating with Google servers. All right, so that's all set. I'm going to hit next. And then it says finish setup. I've got my Google account right there. You can see it, the green check mark. So now I'm going to hit next. It asked me if I want VZW, standalone GPS, and Google location services from my location. I'm going to choose yes to all of these. As long as you have an unlimited data plan, I would definitely recommend doing that. And then hit next. Uh, it gives you a keypad tutorial if you want to go with it, but we're good. So we're going to hit finish. Goes into the HTC screen. And I'm in my home screen. Now my um, Thunderbolt is ready to use. So I'm pretty happy about it. Got a pretty nice device and hope this was helpful for you. Have a great day.